Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do something very simple but very tasty. I'm going to make fried chicken livers with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Regular viewers will know that I've just come back from holiday and two weeks off! One of which we spent in Cyprus having a wonderful time at the wedding of my niece and also catching up with a very old friend from Dubai who we've not seen for 23 years. So that was pretty cool. Actually, pretty hot. It was very hot. <laughs> I loved it. And it took a week to recover from that. I'm not kidding. Anyway, we packed a lot in. So uh, what, what I was hoping to do was discover something about Cypriot food. And actually, I did. Cypriot food is Greek food, basically. Probably don't tell that to a Cypriot. But really, you've got all, all the standards, you know, you've got your, your moussaka, your kleftiko, your, um, your dips, your hummus, your tzatziki, and so on. Um, all marvellous stuff, and I've done pretty much all of it before in videos. But there's one thing that we had, which um, actually I don't think is particularly Greek or Cypriot, um, but we, we had it there in, when we went to a, a small plates restaurant, and one of the small plates was this. But I'm modifying it slightly, and uh, I'll tell you what the modification is and why later when we get to it. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's go on with it. Fried chicken livers with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Right, ingredients. I've got 400 grams of chicken livers, 200 grams of mushrooms, 200 ml of cream, heavy cream, double cream, a splash of balsamic vinegar, a small handful of parsley, that needs to be chopped a lot, well, all of these do as well, and salt and pepper to taste. I'll also need some butter and oil to saute these in, and a couple of tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour. So I'll just give the mushrooms a quick rinse under cold water, and then we'll do some choppy choppy. I'm just gonna chop the parsley before I do anything else. Nice and fine. And just set that aside. Did you hear when I when I said I was gonna rinse, rinse the mushrooms? A load of mushroom purists saying, don't wash the mushrooms. Um, I don't care. It's, it's just, I, I just don't like bits of poo on my food, actually. So now I'm just going to cut these into bits. There we go, so I'll just put those back on that plate. And now we deal with the chicken livers, which I was amazed to find were very, very cheap, even at Morrison's. Um, I think that 400 grams was uh, £1.75, which is, yeah, amazing. Don't tell Morrison's I said that, because they'll in increase the price. So we need to cut off any bits of uh, gristly stuff, greeny stuff, and cut it into pieces about like that size. All right, it's a bit messy, but you know, some cooking is. All right, now we need to coat these in a mixture of uh, flour and salt and pepper, so, well. Couple of those. A teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Mix that together and then chuck the liver in. Stir that to get all the pieces coated. Might have been best to do this in batches, but I didn't. I'm going to melt a big lump of butter together with some oil, get them quite hot and smoking a bit, and then add the pieces of liver. I'll need to do this in two batches because there's a lot of liver and the pan's not massive. So get the liver pieces browned all over, take them out and set aside for a bit, and then add the mushrooms and get those browned all over. Add the liver pieces back in and stir in the cream.
add most of the parsley but keep a bit for garnish and now the magic bit is to add a splash of balsamic vinegar when we had this in cyprus there was a very peculiar very sharp taste we asked the waiter what it was and he, he very proudly said it was retsina which is you know the local well it's it's a greek local wine um doesn't have a great reputation and it's pretty weird stuff so i'm hoping balsamic vinegar will work better so let that cook for a couple of minutes give taste it again and season it if you think it needs it And now it's taste test time. Hello. Hello, darling. What do you want? You said you wanted me here. See? So I'm here. <laughs> Mrs. Keith Cooks! <laughs> Ooh, chicken livers, yes? Yum yum. Did you tell them we had this on holiday? I certainly did. Mm -hmm. And about the retina that didn't really work with it. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that mushroom was nice. Mm. <laughs> That's why I don't let her do the taste test anymore. Mm. It's good this. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. 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 <sighs> Bit off more than I could chew. So, <laughs> the thing about liver is don't overcook it or mm. it turns to rubber. It does. So This, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So how long did this have? About five minutes. Um, mm. I mean, the liver on its own, just a minute or two, and then low in the in the sauce, or the cream and the balsamico. Oh, that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can come again. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's really good. Can you taste the balsamic? I can taste a nice little sharp edge to it. Mm. But yeah, Retsina. <laughs> yep. That's really mm. nice. There you go. Fried chicken livers and mushrooms, a la Cyprus. <laughs> Not really. Inspired by Cyprus. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was good. Because the first few tastes were absolutely lovely in, in Cyprus. And then there was this this tang built up, and it was it was too much. That's yummy. That. Mm. Anyway, right, we have to go now because we have to eat that. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. <laughs> She's forgotten how to do it. Can't get the stuff. Later.